Welcome back. So there's a lot of reason to use layering in your application and one of them is making the code simpler to reuse, making the code simpler to read. There's also the one where we say, well, it's cool that a UI developer, he can focus up here while a database developer, he can focus down here and then we can kind of split the tasks up and make what I'm, if I'm really strong at developing front end, I'll take care of the top. If you're really strong at developing back end stuff, talking to the database, you'll stay at the bottom. So there's a lot of reason to use layered applications and that's why we're doing it. We wanna hear, we wanna figure out now where should all our code from our old application be placed. And let me just start by jumping into the old application. The first thing I see is that we have uh, two different files here. One is the customer and the customer is kind of what we call a business entity. The business entity should belong inside the business entity or the entity package we have available right here. So I'll just make here, I'll move the small class of customer. That'll be over here. It's what we call a POCO class, plain old C sharp object, POCO, right? So that's going to be placed right here in the entity package or the entity layer. What else do we have? Let's have a look. When I scroll down, I get some kind of database information right here. So this belongs inside the data access layer. Actually, I would even say this guy is the actual MS SQL database we have right here. But for now, I'll place all of this inside the data access layer for figuring out the IDs for the customer and for actually having a list of customers that's kind of a fake database. I'm going to place that inside the data access layer down here. So here we'll have our um, fake DB that'll be put down here. Oops, fake DB, fake database. There we go. So that'll be put down here in the data access layer. And of course, at some point, we'll switch that out with a real database down here. What else do we have? Um, I don't have a lot of business logic right now. I'll get back to the business logic part, but we'll start looking at what should be placed as UI components like this, the list of menu items. Does that belong in the UI components? Maybe it does, we'll figure it out. But the UI will be stuff like printing information to the console. That would be the UI's job. So every place where I have a console write line, stuff like that, that will be inside the UI uh, layer. So going back to my drawing, here we'll have everything that's console write line that belongs up here, right? Also the console read line that also belongs up here. That's it for this lesson. I just want to kind of give you guys an overview of how we're going to spit up the code now, because that's what we're going to do in the next lesson. See you next time.